Mike, check. My name is Tom, as in Giss, coming to you live from 1420 Production Studios. In here working, exercising on the other side, as you should. Just coming to you with some thoughts, words of encouragement, words of advice for those that care to listen. And that's today's topic is learning how to listen. See, listening is a two-part process. It's hearing the words, then applying those words to your life in ways that benefit you. Quick story. Graduated high school. Pockets was a little slim. Sitting in the hood one day, contemplating getting on some real bullshit. Some real bullshit. By myself, sitting on the bench, chilling. Big bro E. Willoughby comes down. Salute to you, bro. I love you. Big bro comes down, watch me grow up all my life. Always held me down, make sure nothing ever happened to me. Sits right next to me, don't say what's up or nothing. First words out of his mouth was, oh, bro, don't go to jail. In my head, I'm like, the fuck you telling me that for? He could see it in my eyes. And he's had that look a few times in his life. Now, just to give you a little backstory, big bro, he really be done been through it all. Bro done been shot in the head, done jumped out of seven story windows, went to jail, did his time, got a lot of money in the streets, came home, changed his life, running businesses, salute him. But for him to tell me not to go to jail means that he done saw something, had to do something, or experienced some crazy shit behind the walls for a nigga of that caliber to be like, yo, don't go. And when I look back, I salute myself because I listened. I've never had a problem listening. I might have a few assholeish qualities, but I've never had a problem listening. Now, when he told me that, the bullshit that I was about to get on, I subtracted myself from that equation, went, start job hunting, start looking for entrepreneurial. Legal things that I could do, probably say I'd probably just be coming home if I didn't take his advice that day. So again, salute to my bro. I appreciate that. Now, hopefully, this message reaches somebody the way his message reached me. If you care, because at some point in your life, you're gonna have to listen to somebody. Now, unless you was born with a 93 silver spoons. Born a billionaire, cool. This message does not apply to you. But if you had to get it out the mud, if you have to, you know, go to school, pay your own way, be your own, at some point you're going to listen to somebody, whether it's a manager, supervisor, an owner, corrections officer, or warden. You're going to listen to somebody. My only advice is, while you have the opportunity to choose who you listen to, choose to listen to somebody who might have been through it that's trying to feed you some positivity to keep you from behind them walls, man. Friends, family members. Shit, I done been arrested. Thank God I never had to do a bed. But it's not a place you want to be. So learn how to listen and then you can apply that that skill to everything in life as far as relationships, your, your money, your body, learning how to listen and then applying what you hear to your life. I don't want to see you in the graveyard early or in a jail cell too long or at all. So learn how to listen. It's been an asset of mine learned how to listen better days the movie out now better days two is in production book is on the way tons of more music is on the way saintville mr meredith a clay shout out to my bro bathgate guy pens big drew free a mafia my brother robert earl you don't have to deal with this, man, until they hear us.
And super big shout out to my bro Ray on his new project. Hurry up and wait. We on that getting busy, but learn to listen, man. And we will be in Springfield, Massachusetts, June 25th. DJ Why Not, St. Ville, Fat Man Scoop. Oh, yeah. Wipe your ass before you get in the shower. Like, seriously.